the cardinal rules of magic. You must not be the under the misimpression that magic is all powerful. There are limits, and not even the greatest mages may overcome them. No one, for instance, has found any means of, for travel, either over great, dis great distances or small ones, beyond putting one foot in front of the other. The immutable nature of the physical world prevents this, so no, you may not simply pot over to Minthrathos to borrow a cup of sugar, nor may you magic the essay you forgot in the apprentice's dormitory to your desk. You will simply have to be prepared. Similarly, even when you send your mind into the phage, your body remains behind. Only once has this barrier been overcome, and reputably the spell required two-thirds of the lyrium in the Divinity Imperium, as well as the lifeblood of several hundred slaves. The results were utterly disastrous. Finally, life is finite. A truly great healer may bring someone back from the pre very precipice of death when breath and heartbeat have ceased, but the spirit still clings to life. But once the spirit has fled the body, it cannot be recalled. There is no flailing, failing of your skills or power. It is simply reality. 